Cancer, welcome to your Celtic cross reading. What's up? What's going on? Show me Cancer, please. What's going on for Cancer? Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. And if there's more than one energy apparent on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit, yeah? Do keep in mind it's about your collective reading, not about a them or they, but inevitably a them or they sometimes pops up. Yeah, there you go. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say it may not fully resonate. Normal. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements, yeah? What's going on? Show me cancer, show me cancer, show me cancer. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me cancer. What's going on, please, for cancer? What's going on? To that cancer who keeps asking me over and over again politely, but um, persistently, what is my beauty secret? You look younger and younger every day. What is it? 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 Okay. Um, if you must know, annual human sacrifice. Sometimes twice a year, but no more than that. After, you know, twice, you're just being greedy. That's it. Ten of Cups. Crossed by death. My, my, my. What's going on? Crowning. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Behind you. Queen of Swords. Or in your past. Exiting King of Pentacles. Before you, Three of Pentacles. There's something here you don't want to provide for anymore. Possibly someone. You're showing me heavy, heavy providership energy. You might see your emotional constructs or your relationships as something that's worth investing in in terms of 3D practical energy and you're saying there's something here not worth investing in anymore or that you personally don't want to support anymore. It's very interesting, Cancer. Strengths. You keep your secrets to yourself mm -hmm. until you know what you're doing, I agree. Environment. It heartbreak, three swords, hopes and fears, the six of pentacles, that you might find reason to make this work, and do you want to? Heavy earth energy here today, with some Scorpio as well. Okay. King of Wands is in the outcome. You'll know. You'll know. Your natural element about this, and what you're doing, and why, it will speak for you in the end. Okay. You see relationships, your inner circle, ten of cups, as investments. What you build up or put yourself into as resources. This is actually very nice. This is something I would expect to actually see more of with earth signs. <laughs> so you might have some heavy earth in you, or you're just used to being head of state. And by that, I mean the breadwinner. The one who responsibly ties things together in the household and what it concerns itself with in terms of practical investments, maintaining that household, therefore everyone in it. So therefore, everyone benefits from the King of Pentacles energy. And I got a King of Pentacles here who's like, because again, I have to remind myself, I'm looking at cancer. It's like, I don't think I want to provide for this anymore. And that's serious business. Okay. It's like the best of my resources are going into something that I'm not sure is functioning anymore. Now, you've got my attention. Now, this is interesting. Oh, my. For a cancel reading? Yeah. <laughs> it's different. Let's take a look at that Ten of Cups. Heart of the reading is also first card drawn. Crossing it is death. So that means we're not entirely sure that this is over yet. But if you started withdrawing your resources the way I believe so, that might well be the case. Let's take a look. Let's see that Ten of Cups, please. Show me that Ten of Cups. Show me that Ten of Cups. This is fascinating. It is, from my point of view, it is. Absolutely. So cancer, just FYI, may not be your sun. Um, cancer could be your moon, 100%. Moon, of course. Three swords. Heartbreak is real. Let's see that Ten of Cups, some of that Ten of Cups, some of that Ten of Cups. It's very Earth mentality. 
in terms of uh, I put the best of myself into connections that love and support me. And I show my love, my love language through providing action, stability. See what I'm saying? Um, so those are characteristics. Even if you have no earth in your chart, is what you're showing me today. It's, uh, it's really interesting here. Can you see that Ten of Cups, please? Nine of Cups. King of Swords. Two of Wands says a decision. Does this still make me happy? Personally. Extracting the individual Nine of Cups out of the Ten. Does this, this emotional circle that I'm part of, whoever that is, spouse, kids, family, friends, but at the emotional level, okay, your inner circle, can I still find myself in it? That's the question. And you are in the process of answering that right now. King of Swords, Two of Wands, and this is current right now thinking and feeling. It's both. So you're both listening to your thoughts as well as your feelings. This is good. With the understanding that there's a decision in there somewhere. So there's no delay here. This is currently on. Whatever that Ten of Cups is to you. I don't know who all is in there, but it's like, can I still find myself, me, personally? Cancer, can I find myself in this? Okay. Because it seems like death could be pending. Pending results. Okay. Let's take a look at death, please. Is this my personal wish fulfillment? Let's say that death. Show me that death. Am I personally happy? And I see people say my personal happiness doesn't matter. It's all about ten of cups and making other people happy. And if that's how you really believe, operate, and feel, so long as the energy and actions around it are consistent, I'm not going to argue with it. But you're asking yourself, am I personally happy in this construct? Okay. Let's take a look at that, please. The idea that you're withdrawing your personal resources from this and that you could have a new opportunity, that's a serious question. And I'm glad you're respecting it with a full answer. Let's see death here. Six of sword. I know. Queen of Pent... That you keep... Whoa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the question is really real, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's really real. You haven't answered it yet, but you're on that pathway, honey. It's a matter of time. Just to be clear, the cancer I'm looking at, you haven't done anything yet. But the idea is I have a responsibility to make a decision. You question your personal happiness, you're going to start asking questions, as you should. Um, here's the thing. Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. If I leave this, I leave my way of life too. You take a lot of pride on being a provider. I understand. I'm the same way. Okay? That 3D world is no joke. If you've ever been positioned to be head of household and provide... You know that's a serious thing, because with you goes the coin. A sense of stability, household, somebody else might be enjoying it, but who put it in place? You know what I'm saying? So this person, his head of household here is questioning, are they still personally happy with their circle? Because they're contemplating moving their resources on. Because mm. you're saying everything you do is for love of something greater. Good. Okay, good. The Six of Swords. So it is if this, if this ends, if this emotional construct ends, I'm taking myself from a place of value and understanding my worth. You have a very strong sense of self-worth and what it is you can do. Good job. You're saying if that goes... All that work and resources goes with me, and I damn well know it. Ooh. I don't think this is about getting a new job. I really don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't have opened with that Ten of Cups, with the death being over it as a proposition. You're showing me the responsibility attached to the decision. Because if you go, the resources go too. Mm -hmm. Stability resource gathering, earnings, you name it. But this is also with the full understanding of what your worth is. If I go, my worth goes too. It goes with me. You're the owner of it. You're the origin story of that, that resource. All right, so you're taking this very seriously. All right. 
Ace of Pentacles. Show me that Ace of Pentacles that is crowning. Show me that Ace of Pentacles that is crowning Cancer, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I just heard the beautiful, the magnificent, the one and only Nina Simone. Feeling good. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Some of you can feel that energy. I know you can. Um, but whether or not you will, I don't know. It's up to you. But man, that's a good one to come blasting through. Mm -hmm. You ever know what that freedom feels like? Because you know you're the generator of your own success. And that you can see things in a completely different way. Because you know what your worth is. That's what that feeling is. If you've never heard it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Nina Simone, feeling good. Ten of Pentacles, Boo Boo, the Hierophant, the Magician. Honey, let's talk about it. You know what it is that you want. You're committed to it too. But you're wondering if that commitment shouldn't shift to a brand new opportunity. Wow. Kaden, wow. I'm just over 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 Well, what cancer am I looking at today? Wow. Indeed. There's a new opportunity that calls to you. And you're saying, all I really want is to commit to the legacy. Something that is fruitful, productive, highly resourced, connected, secure, and I want it to be the best. So that tells me then you operate under the principles of best. So long as you are given love, nurturing, care, and support, you're saying there's nothing you can't do. You'll go out there and do what you need to do. You're saying you, so when you say you, if you pack your bags, all the resources and the, the worth goes with you, I believe you. I do. I do. But there has to be an underlying source of inspiration for you to do that, right? Love. That's hence your opening. Do I still find myself in love with this? Am I still part of this inner circle? You have yet to show me why you're questioning it. Because if you're that person, it's like, I can go out there, Christina, and I can hunt all the food, animals in the kingdom. I can, and I will. But I need to know that I'm coming home to something that supports me. Because that's what you want to sign up to and commit. Stability, legacy, and the honoring of it. With the Hierophant there. That's all you've ever wanted. So if you don't feel welcome in your current Ten of Cups for all your endeavors and what you have done, would it make sense then that part of you is operating for the same goal but in its higher form if you feel like it's capped here? Whoa. Once more, you have not made a decision, but it's with you. You're saying, once I, when I know my worth... I can do what I do anywhere, but I can also achieve for something higher and stronger. I stand by that. Ooh, good God, honey. What are we doing? Uh, I was going to go ahead. You know what? We're going to go ahead and do that Queen of Swords in the recent past. Let me see that. I need to see that Queen of Swords. I have a... Let's see that Queen of Swords, please. It's almost like you're saying I'm not trying to be the best of me and be a resource provider for a friend. I should be able to find myself and not question my place in this Ten of Cups if I'm doing all this. Because I could take this packet up and move it anywhere. In fact, I could make it stronger. Whoo! <laughs> oh, honey, it's a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I get it, though. I respect it. What do I say all the time, guys? You got to know your worth. You got to know your value. You know? Um, and you do. Aha, I see. It's not you. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Tower, the Knights of Swords. Someone no longer takes action towards you in the name of love. 
they're a little cold, they're distant, but they're perfunctory. They show up when they're supposed to show up, but they no longer, again, take action in a support role towards you. You know this. Okay. Okay. Um, Eight of Cups, the Tower Knight of Swords. I don't know if they told you this, but it looks like you are aware of it. Right? Whoever that is, is supposed to be in a support function, bare minimum, for their emotions towards you, and they're not. They're showing me perfunctory actions. This is what I do. This is what I say. I'm used to it. Don't expect more from this. No wonder. Okay. How should I say that? Queen of Swords. I could say you're used to making decisions. I'm like, that didn't feel right. It wasn't it. I don't know you know how to make decisions. That's not what I mean. It just didn't feel like it was you. And it's not. Um, Eight of Cups, the Tower, and the Knight of Swords. They're saying they no longer feel the same way. Um, they're emotionally distant, but they still credit themselves in taking action towards you or this connection as they feel is their responsibility. Not exactly loving, romantic, or not entirely supportive. And the cancer I'm looking at, you made it clear in order for you to do what you do at the level that you do it, you need to have emotional comfort. And a lot of people are like that. You know, there's nothing I can't do in the name of love so long as I know I'm loved for it. And I'll provide for you all day long. Just tell me you appreciate my efforts. It's real. That that sense of responsibility is really real. And um, I understand you, and I don't blame you. If it seems like someone's just taking actions towards you or the connection out of habit and not much else, they're almost saying like, yeah, yeah, I can walk away from this, but I choose not to. Not exactly supportive. Uh... <laughs> At the emotional level, no. I'm going to say that King of Pentacles on the exit. Your need to provide for this is starting to withdraw. And that sucks because you know what it is that you could do. Let's see that King of Pentacles. Let's see that King of Pentacles. What do you do, honey, when you're in that space of, I don't feel like I want to provide for this anymore. That's a serious thought. It's a serious thought. They want to not be faulted for not taking action when it's their turn to do what they're supposed to do. But if all you've ever asked for them is emotional support and love, then actions here and there, points A and B, checking off the checklist of the day's activities or agendas isn't enough. Okay, let me see that King of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah, there's no peace here. There's no peace here. Ah, oh, God, the thing you want the most is what they're not giving you anymore. And that's just straight up emotional support. They've known you a long time. This person may or may not be a soul bond. I don't know. I don't care. I really don't because it's it's really clear now. Uh, you're showing me what your weight and value is. And all that you've ever asked them to do is to love you. And you, you, can, you can provide all day long. You can provide and you can provide. You will provide till you're dead. And even then... You'll provide some more. That's how that's how seriously you take that role. But they don't have a role to fulfill for you, it seems, anymore at the emotional level, which is, as far as I can tell, all you ever asked of them. And maybe to help. They're used to taking action. That's detail stuff, though, guys. That's what I mean by perfunctory. The Knight of Swords is perfunctory. I got this to do. I got that to do. They're, they're running errands. They keep things connected, they communicate, they take actions, but except for the emotional space. But other than that, they're like, I'm here. Aside from that, I'm here. And you're like, that's not enough. Uh, you, you're, you're, you're tired of fighting for what isn't there anymore. And that's why you're taking your sense of, I'm not providing for this anymore. I don't feel like it. That's the thing about that heavy, heavy earth energy that you're showing me here today. Once you no longer feel inclined to provide for something or someone, you know something's wrong extremely so, so your love language is to provide isn't it <laughs> this is what i can do secure i'm making your secure i'm making our life secure i'm making this i'm making that i'm padding this 401k blah 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 i'm looking out for our security sanctuary and safety in the future resources 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 and you asked for love in return to do all that so your love language is doing providing resources stability and you're saying you no longer feel the need to give to this like that anymore. Because 
the love for this person is is guarded, cut off. It's argumentative. It's combative. It's not smooth. It doesn't express itself very well. It's defensiveness all the time. No natural organic, excuse me, organic feeling of love. The appreciation of it. It's no wonder he's exiting. As long as the love continues to not be apparent, your feeling to provide for this is also less and less apparent. Do you see how one's affecting the other? You can't make someone love you, and you can't make someone provide for you if their needs aren't being met either. It's not fair. These are called agreements, guys. It's called commitment. What did I sign up to? What did you sign up to? These are our agreements. The agreement's changing. Okay, can we adopt, flow, change, transform, or not? You know, I promise to provide for you forever, and you promised that you would love me forever. Well, looks like neither one of us is living up to that promise. It's interesting. I don't know how far this goes. I don't know if it's marriage necessarily. I can tell that your love language is to provide. Somebody else's love language is to love. And between those two, you two are supposed to function. And that's not happening. And it hasn't for a long time. Hence the opening about why we're contemplating withdrawing from this altogether. I got you. All right, that's what we're looking at today, ladies and gentlemen. You don't like it? Doesn't resonate? Cool. Don't worry about it. Not your reading. I do the real stuff. You have some beautiful elements attached to you. You really do. I don't blame you for thinking about gathering your resources and moving on. Uh... They, it's true. They can't be faulted for not showing up. The idea, however, is when they were showing up, it was supposed to be in love. Okay. Um, and you can't make someone stay to provide for them, and just like you can't make someone stay to love you. It works both ways. End of story. Sorry. That's just how it is. I didn't say I'm sorry. That's life. That is life. I have nothing to apologize for. This is how it works. You either agree on it or you don't. Two people are either living up to their contracts, written, spoken, or otherwise. That's it. You know, you, you, you can't have it both ways. I expect you to provide, but you should excuse me if I don't feel the same way for you anymore. That's, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's anti-self-worth. If you believe in that, it's, it's anti-self-worth. Okay? You each do your bit. And if it can't be fixed or healed, then you have to start thinking about things after that. Let's see that Three of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah. You are seeing this particular contract as the renewed one as being quite the loss. It's a catastrophic loss in terms of what it means to you or what it has come to mean over time. Four and Five of Cups. This is past emotional loss and regret with fresh emotional loss and regret. This is what it's amounted to. I no longer want to give to this. It doesn't love me. And you resent it. You resent it. You're very upset. Five and four cups is extremely upset because you've been upset with the five and it's still fresh with the four. Ongoing ace versus the new ace that you would actually like to see for yourself. Have I made that clear? This is coming up for you in future and that sense of this king sucks. Yes, it does. So it looks like at this point, you're going to have to start figuring out what you're going to do. Is this acceptable to you? Because mind you, I had you opening up with, should I leave this? Because I really don't feel inspired to give it my resources anymore. My time, energy, and effort, which again is valid. How the hell do you make an ongoing ace work on a four and five, guys? Three of pentacles, barely given to this. It doesn't feel good for either person. Okay. The moon. The moon in strengths. Show me that moon, please, in strengths. You might have some Pisces in your chart as well. Show me that moon, please. Show me that moon. Show me the moon. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, the Six of Cups. Hmm. It's interesting. 
It's still in your secret self. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Six of Cups. I think I see you standing more as an individual around the Six of Cups. In other words, not part of it. And it's still kind of a secret knowledge for you. I think it's something you're still trying to understand intuitively. Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Six of Cups. Um, wondering what you owe this as a person. And are you in the right to be on your own? Are you still obligated karmically to give to this? It's just quiet with the moon, but you're contemplating it, so it's an active moon. So good. That means you're not trying to ignore it. You are quietly contemplating what do you owe this to make it right. Especially if you now see yourself as an outsider of that Six of Cups. You're no longer part of it, or you no longer wish to be part of it. From a realistic space, excuse me, space as the Nine of Pentacles here, which is good energy. You want to know what your debt is to this Six of Cups. Okay, that's going to be answered in time. But it stands to reason, guys, if you're thinking about ending something and you have to withdraw all your resources, you're going to ask yourself realistically, what do you owe this to make it square, to make it fair, to make it legit? Am I doing right by this? Am I being justice with this? Am I being technically correct? I want to owe as little karma to this as possible. I want the debt to be even. So you're going to ask yourself realistically, if you proceed to exit this, what do you owe it? It's not enough to say I don't owe it anything. That's just not true. You built a life together. You're going to start thinking about who owes who what if you separate from it. It's, it's called reality. Which you have a strong appreciation for. That's why I'm looking at your quiet process and it needs to be quiet until you've uh, got more answers. Okay? Okay. I know you want to do right by it especially if you understand that you're the one that's been keeping it going, okay? Right? You would incur more karma debt by not doing a clean exit. You don't want that. You want to do the right thing, and that's what you need to figure out. What is the right thing towards this if I exit it, okay? Three swords in the environment, ongoing pain. That's both old as well as fresh. No good. This is no good. Show me that three of swords, please. Show me that three of swords. This is a very realistic reading for a cancer I'm looking at. It's not just hypothetical. These are real thoughts. Really real thoughts. I bless you, honey. I understand. I know. I know what you're going through. I understand. You're doing your due diligence, and that's what matters. Okay? It's people who don't do their due diligence that end up paying a lot more later. Do your due diligence. Okay? Understand that I just want things to be fair and even between us if I go my own way. Um, I don't want to feel like I have any more outstanding debt towards this. Good. Let's see that three of swords, please. I'm really to you. You know, it's, like I said, it works both ways. Let's see that three of swords. The of fortune. Let's see, we have the ace of pentacles strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you're rising to this occasion magnificently Bless you. You really know how to restructure your life if you need to. You're very clever, aren't you? You're very clever. Very clever. Clever in that sense of I know what it is I need to do to take care of me. You do. You've made that very clear. I 100% believe you. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Strength. You feel that enough time has passed and this disappointing whatever this is that you're going to realistically start working through it with strength for yourself making sure everything that you need is lined up in order, in order, excuse me, in order to proceed. Okay. Whether or not you're working things out with this person that's on the table as well as also a viable option. That's also with you. You know this. You're not inexperienced, you know. Okay. Um, the idea is, is, do you want to continue to put all your life's work into this? Or do you want to provide from yourself from this point forward and maybe aim for other things? that are much more stronger, that you can stand by with full force and integrity of self. If you're going to provide and make a life for yourself and anybody co-creates with you, you don't want to ever have to question it again, right? Um, you're working through it now as we speak, okay? 
You are. You're very good about this. The Six of Pentacles. Hopes and fears. To make this work, to not make it work. Am I balancing things correctly? Let's take a look. I mean, the, 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 the pentacle energy is here today. <laughs> it is horror. And, it, and that reminds me. If any Pisces in your chart, there's had a lot of 3D energy as well. But uh, for very different reasons. It's curious. Very curious. I saw it tied to the sentimentality of someone else. It was very curious. Anyway. Let's see that Six of Pentacles from that Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. The Sun, Judgment, Death. You, Like I said, you hope you're making the right decision. You fear you may not be making the right decision. It's right here. With your freedom comes the choice of ending this, death. Okay? Do you hope for the the worst? Or do you hope for the best? Do you fear the worst? Do you fear the best? Somewhere in between the two? If you try to make things work with this person, there's a good chance it will, it will, and you know it, and you fear that, because it's not actually what you want. I saw what you wanted, and it's not this. This is a renewed ace that's not functioning well, and it hasn't for a long time. It feels bad to get to the point. It's barely cooperative with the Three of Pentacles. And it is anti-King of Pentacles and everything he stands for. <clears throat> and then I got a Hierophant over here manifesting a solid ace. That the co-creation is through the roof in terms of stability, viability, legacy. You want this. You're not getting it with this. Your hopes and fears are reflecting. If I stay, I'm afraid. If I go, I'm kind of afraid. If things work out, I don't actually want that, but maybe I'm supposed to try. If I do get that new opportunity and it makes me happy, oh God, that's scary too, but I kind of want it. You're afraid of the decision. Judgment. And it is your decision. Where is your happiness? I see which way you're leaning. It's up to you to apply it. I think if you tried to fix this or work with it anymore, you just know that really it's just hanging on at this point. If you really wanted to heal this, you would have shown me that by now, and so would they. Neither one of you showed me temperance. Neither one of you showed me the hermit. You didn't even show me fucking four swords. It's reality and the truth of it. I will say this. Your resourcefulness is amazing. There's nothing you can't seem to do if you just put your will towards it. You're highly adaptable in work. And you take providership very seriously. And all I can see for you that you asked for in return was love. And the appreciation of your efforts. And, um... This was blunt. I don't know how honest it was. I don't know if that tower was spoken to you about how they walked away, but it's like saying, does it matter though? I'm here. That's comforting. <laughs> um, so again, that's why I don't think I'm seeing any offers to heal here is because you already know what to expect, right? It seems to me you two have been together long enough to understand that. I wish the fighting would stop. I do. But that seems to be a non concern for you. You've kind of already accepted the fact that it won't. The dissatisfaction, the, the restlessness between you and this person, this, this ill at ease feeling. I know your biggest concern is, am I making the right decision? Am I making the right decision? And if so, am I doing it correctly? You'll figure that out as you go. Something either feels right or it's not. You either feel like you're leaving this in a vindictive way, or you're not. You either feel like you're leaving this for the right reasons, or you're not. That's it. Okay? Don't let the song come down on me on Elton, by Elton John. 
Oh, I love Elton John. I do. Don't let the sun go down on me. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> he also said butterflies are free to fly. So fly away. Um, yeah. Elton John was a huge influence, musically speaking, to me throughout my life. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and so it has done. You feel good about this. Their reaction is to show a I don't care face. Great. So more of the same. Um, yeah, another Queen of Swords is here as well. They are acting indifferent, like they could care less. So you have your answer. King of Swords, it's looking like an equal division. Um, you feel good about... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. King of Wands, we're a little tired. Pisces knocked me out. Okay. And I also have an ongoing migraine, and it sucks. Okay, that King of Wands, you're smiling. You're smiling because things are being divided up well. They're acting cold and indifferent. In other words, nothing's changed. Great. So their lives have not been affected. I just know that you are treating them well because you are parting ways with this with a smile on your face. In other words, you know it's correct. So that whole concept of am I doing right by this? You are. Okay? You are. You actually feel really good about this uh, quite a bit because it seems like you did well by it and you're showing me clean exit. It's equal. It's even. Okay? Whatever that distribution is in terms of the monetary output... You're saying it's been fairly distributed. Otherwise, you would not be showing me confidence. They're like, well, same shit, different day. Well, good for them. There's a reason that <coughs> we're separating from this. <coughs> I hope that they were comfortable for many, many years. But comfort is no guarantee of personal happiness. That's one of the downsides to earth. You can be comfortable. It doesn't mean you're happy. Or that you're loving somebody. You know, you have a different point of view when you're the provider. <clears throat> you know, it's like I worked this hard to be comfortable and happy. Catch that? Okay. No, you did right by the situation. I knew you would. I knew, look how seriously we're taking this. Absolutely. I knew you were going to do right by this, honey. No maliciousness, no ill will, clean division. This is yours. This is mine. I'm walking away happy, and they're still like, well, I'm a cold, you know what? So. They haven't changed, babe. That's how you know. So I didn't see any healing. I... This is you. This is your gig, okay? That's your gig. Stick to it. All right. That's you. Right there, honey. Okay? The letters R and G. And the deer, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and the timidity. I'm saying that, but it's coming from a place of respect, though. Am I doing the right thing? Especially when it comes to resources, etc., as we've discussed. You are. You did a clean, proper division. I'm super proud of you. Whatever aggression was exiting, and that's why you're not showing me the emotional investment, other than the catastrophic disappointment for how this Ace of Pentacles ended up. Doing that thing where you pick it up, put it aside. I'd rather have earned my freedom. You know, and if that means writing you a check with a clear conscience, I can smile. I'm sure this relationship didn't start out as being transactional. And I don't even think that was your point. I'm convinced that wasn't your point, babe. I'm not. I, I just... You showed me what your priorities are and what you asked for. What you were asking for was not being met. You, a secretary could have filled their role towards the end. I'm sure they started out as a loving partner, but they ended up becoming a secretary. Okay. I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.